Oh, you're rich. Wait, okay, I'm in the dark. I just have the dog in the pond. Uh, yeah, it's that way. Thanks. Oh! 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 This is, uh, this is lovely. It'll be a good send-off for Ella, which is the very least that she deserves. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this with me. I know I lost my temper last week. Well, I'm used to planning these things, given my trade, and it's what Ella would have wanted. Uh, regarding your request about the coffin, it's, it's all arranged for later today, but are you sure this is what you want? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks, Norma. Hey. Hey. Well, some of these are ruined. Can't believe Steve didn't stop to help. Do you know what? That was weird, seeing as you said he'd been so supportive and everything. I was going to ask him to come over later to say one last goodbye to Ella. Say goodbye how? Well, the Undertakers are bringing the coffin here. Here? Why? Well, because I wanted to spend one last night with us. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, it's great. I better get to work. Oh, could you pop into the dog and drop these off? Yeah, what is it? Photos of Ella. I want to scatter them around the room for a week. Love you. Um. Oh, do you want to grab some minutes and wash my hands? Oh, yeah, they're covered in ink. You're not surprised about it, being a high profile lawyer. Mm. Can't all smell a bleach. Mm. Can I get a white wine and a separate lemonade? Good to see you two getting along. I take it you took my advice and didn't tell him about your little indiscretion. No, I didn't. And do I need to remind you that I only confessed that I'd had an affair in confidence? Affair? I think you said it was a one-off. Yeah, whatever it was. But it's over now, so let's just move on. Yeah, what? I saw you earlier in the village. How come you didn't help Cindy when she dropped Ella's order of services? Oh, is that what it was? I weren't that close, so... Yeah, you were. You didn't tell me you'd spoken to her about Ella dying. <laughs> what is this? Dave's chat show? Well, I, I just think it's odd. You know? You, the, her telling me you had this deep, meaningful conversation about how badly Ella's death affected you. Because maybe it was a private conversation. Do you remember those? Oh, there's many who's coming. Yes, sir, I was distracting him. Talking about Cindy's struggling at the moment since Ella. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's always hard losing someone. If Cindy is struggling so much, then why are you sitting here? I'm on my lunch break. Try the lamp. Well, that is all grease. Do you want to see her? I'm good, thanks. Do you understand? Why I wanted it. You said it was so she could have one more night at home, but not really. But sometimes you see death coming and you have the chance to say everything you want to the person you're about to lose. But then other times it happens in the blink of an eye, like with Luke and Ella. And it just feels so cruel. And you have all these unanswered questions like, were they scared? Did they know that they were loved? And I feel guilty too. Why guilty? Because I wasn't there for Ella when she needed me. Now I know that I couldn't have stopped it, but at least she wouldn't have died alone. I could have held her hand and told her all the things that I now never will. I think it would have been over very quickly. I doubt she'd have felt a thing. I'd like to think that too. You know, I think this is more for me. I like to think that wherever she is, she knows how special she was. If anyone asks, I was never here. 